Hey guys, it's time to do a full review of the official Android 7.0 Nougat on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, the firmwares are now available on sammobile.com, so you can install it right now on your S6 Edge SMG925F model. So um, unfortunately, the regular or free servers are not available at the moment, so uh, there's like some site maintenance going on. So you have a premium account at Sam Mobile, then you can download it right now. Otherwise, you have to wait till March 12 uh, to download. So yeah, I have have downloaded it on my Gal Galaxy S6 Edge. Uh, it is the um, G925F model. And I'm just gonna quickly show you guys here, going into the main settings, going into about phone, okay, about device. As you can see here, soft information, it is Android 7.0 Nougat official. So, so the best thing about the Nougat is that we pretty much get every feature from Galaxy S7, like 90%, apart from some features which I'm gonna talk about in this video. So as you can see here, a quick side-by-side -side look here, uh, the similarity, pretty much everything is here on the Galaxy S6 Edge. You can see the app drawer, everything looks so, so similar. Uh, if we quickly go into the camera, uh, that is also very similar. The latest camera UI, notice that there's a black border on the Galaxy S7, but it's not on the S6 Edge. It's like complete uh, complete camera screen, and you can you know swipe here to see all the effects, and swiping to the right will give you all your features. So pretty much everything is here. Uh, you can't really see the top here on the settings, but uh, they are very similar. You got the HDR, the settings and the front camera mode. So going into the main settings of the camera, uh, you can see all the new features, the new flip camera thing is also here. I will be doing a separate video comparison between the S6 Edge and the S7 speed-wise and software-wise, so stay tuned for that video. So let's review uh, the Galaxy S6 Edge on Android 7.0 Nougat. So first of all, starting from the lock screen, as you can see, we've got two shortcuts, uh, the phone dialer and the camera, which is uh, very similar to the old um, you know, marshmallow look. And of course, on the home screen, the Samsung's usual uh, look is there, uh, but a big change is uh, on uh, the quick set or quick toggle area so it's now more clean a uh, lot similar to the stock uh, UI but of course Samsung has added its own uh, features there like you can search that uh, as uh, that voice integration and then the ability to edit we got three dots there uh, so first of all if we take a look at these quick settings we got the new blue light filter feature which is like a night mode and then with the torch you get all the new uh, levels and then if we check out the secure folder. So basically, if you have an Android 7.0 NuGet Samsung device, you can have the secure folder on it. The secure folder APK is also available on samable.com. So uh, as you can see, I've installed it and I'm just gonna quickly skip through the setup. It says creating secure folder. So this first got debuted on the Galaxy Note 7. We talked about it a lot. You can basically add applications uh, and then, you know, whatever you do in the uh, in the added applications, that data will be protected and uh, and it will remain in the secure folder. So, uh, of course, I have to sign into Samsung account in order to use it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, it is there and we have talked about it a lot. Pretty much, I think, if you are a Samsung fan and you know what secure folder is. So, uh, swiping here, as you can see, we got more options option phone visibility smart mode and this is the new uh, brightness slider so we have this like red alert where it says that your brightness is too bright if you swipe just once you will see the main toggles on top like Wi-Fi so you don't really have to see all the all the full toggles but if you want that you can swipe uh, for the second time for that. So I have to say, I like what Samsung has done here with the with the quick toggles area. Uh, going into the, the app drawer, so we have the search, of course, the three buttons, a little bit changed compared to Marshmallow, but um, mostly it is the same. Uh, then of course, uh, holding on to the display, we have these three options. We have the wallpaper and themes, we got widgets, and we got the screen grid. So wallpaper and themes, of course, you can go to the Samsung store and install themes. Uh, of course, for that, I have to sign in. Uh, but uh, yeah, you can do that. And uh, also, another thing that I want to talk about here, uh, the, the stuff that is not on the Galaxy S6 Edge, 
that Samsung decided to just make it S7 and S7 Edge exclusive. First of all, always on mode is not here. So I've checked it throughout the UI, it is not present. And unfortunately, it's only be exclusive with the with the S7 and you know the devices that come with always on mode. It's not gonna come to older phones like S6 and S6 Edge uh, or Note 5. So that's that. Uh, also, uh, the power saving tools are here, the new power saving tools. So I'm just gonna quickly go into the device maintainers, the one-stop shop for your Samsung device. So uh, main features are here, like it's gonna scan your phone and it's gonna give you, uh, you know, uh, stats about your phone, how much of a, uh, you know, s m malware or useless files are there on your phone so you, you can free up the storage. And, uh, and basically it's gonna help your device to be faster uh, than before so as you can see my score is now 90 so the thing is that if I go into battery section we have the mid and the max mode very similar to the s7 but there is no way to downgrade the display resolution so uh, you can decrease the brightness you can limit the background usage you can uh, use the speed limiter to downclock the CPU speed but there's no way uh, to downgrade the screen resolution from 1440p to 1080p like we can do on the s7 and the s7 edge that is also exclusive to uh, those flagship beasts. So as you can see, if we go into customize, you can see I can't have that feature, but still uh, the new uh, mid and the max mode uh, are looking really, really good. So device maintenance is basically, like I said, one stop shops, you can uh, see your storage, uh, you can clean uh, the, the user's files here, you got your memory information, you know, the RAM things running. So you can see that it has three gig gigabyte of RAM and out of that uh, system and apps has uh, taken up 1.7 and the available space is 941, so I can just quickly clean it up. It's gonna clean all the things that are in the memory. So you can see I have now 139 MP3, so I'm just gonna quickly go back. Uh, same thing you can do with the storage, cleaning up the useless files here, it's gonna scan. And then we have the device security, which takes you to the Knox. You can also see how they have changed the settings here on the S6 Edge with the latest Android 7.0 NuGet, how better it's looking. And basically it's much more easier to operate, uh, much more easier to navigate through the, the UI, the settings UI, we got these icons on the side. And this is also very similar to the pure Android. You know, Samsung is adopting that into their software. And uh, here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the older one. And if we also do a side-by-side -side comparison of the quick toggles area you can see uh, how much of a cleaner look we have now so uh, I'll be doing a comparison of speed and a software comparison with the older Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow that I have on my Samsung Galaxy S6 but currently you can see that S6 Edge is rocking and uh, I just can't wait to see how it's gonna perform speed test wise RAM management all that stuff so for that please stay tuned please subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, yeah uh, if we take a one more look at the camera UI it, it has made me so happy that Samsung has updated the UI which is also changed a lot compared to the older one so now you can you know quickly capture photo uh, swipe here and there for the modes we got all our modes here here i have all the effects okay so let's see here if i go back to auto mode as you can see all the effects there and then again we got hdr flash and the front camera mode in the main settings you can change the megapixel count change the video size to 4k full hd 60 fps also there and then the new feature a new thing that they have added here of course is the save pictures as previewed you can see a bunch of options here down below so uh android 7.0 nougat Apart from the power saving, you know, apart from the ability to downgrade the resolution, uh, we pretty much have everything from the Galaxy S7. And of course, there's no always on mode, but apart from that, we have everything. Of course, we still get the default Android 7.0 NuGet features, such as uh, the split screen multitasking. So let me just quickly open some applications, Play Store, and going into the multitasking area. As you can see, if I hold on to this application, I have two options to swipe all the way up to initiate the split screen mode and swipe down for the pop-up view. So first of all, going into the split screen mode, as you can see, the application is now, you know, 
on just on the half of the screen and I can open a secondary application second application on the same screen so we have the option to you know resize there you can use both applications at the same time comfortably without any problem so in my opinion it's the greatest addition in the Android 7.0 Nougat and second option is for the pop-up view so now this application is in a pop-up mode so I can swipe around and open other application and this will remain here and I can use this at the same time this is the true form of multitasking that we don't see on iOS or on pure Android you know this um, is different compared to the split screen mode so going back again to the application as you can see it's now back and I can uh, you know move it around I can resize it I can close it and if I press this button now this application is in glance mode so now uh, it's gonna remain there like a Facebook chat head and when I'm you know using this application I, I want to check this one out right on the same screen I can just quickly press it and there we go it's here so I can go to the full application by pressing this button here so I have to say, I mean, the multitasking performance, uh, the real multitasking performance is great with the new pop-up mode and the split screen mode. Also, every system-based application like phone dialer, the messaging, uh, the, the internet, they have got their own uh, kind of UI updates, so they look a little bit different, a little bit polished. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this full review of the Android 7.0 Nougat official on the Galaxy S6 Edge. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And, uh, again, uh, let me know what specific videos you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.